welcome back once again to Belmont Bunch. If I look tired, that's because I am. I am tired. I am I was gonna elaborate. I decided not to. So the Islanders are back in a playoff spot after a win over the Rangers at the Garden, also known as the Islanders' second home, as they've won 14 out of 19 at the Garden. 14 of their last 19. They've not only played 19 games ever. Anyway, uh, so this game was nothing, nothing. 51 minutes in, when Casey Sezika scored on, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of a goal mouth scramble where. Shesterkin couldn't see it until it was basically in the net. Uh, and the fourth line throughout the night was fantastic. Looked like its old selves again in terms of forechecking, creating chances. And uh, that would, you know, lead to the Islanders' second goal as well, where uh, Matt Martin kind of like fakes like he's going to go off for a change. And he's like, no, nah, actually. And Clutterbuck from the corner corrals the puck, takes a second. Uh, Potato was looking over his shoulder, assuming that nobody's behind him, kind of like getting ready for the breakout. And um, that's when Martin streaks past him, taps it in past Shesterkin, who uh, will probably have words for his defenseman tonight on the two goals, um, because the first one came off of a pretty bad turnover from, I think it was Hayek. Now, uh, for the Rangers, there are things uh, to take away from this game. Keandre Miller and Adam Fox. That's uh, that's looking like it'll be good for the future. Um, and Shesterkin, not really his fault for the goals. Maybe overcommits a little bit too much on the first goal, on the initial shot from the point, leaving that room for Sezikis. But at the same time, it's a giveaway in their own zone. It's a bad pass by Hayek. Um, so I thought this was a good point because uh, it was a fairly low event game um, to talk about the standings. First, Varlamov, another shutout, his third of the year, uh, stopped two... Well, one straight up breakaway and another odd man rush in tight. Uh, he was fantastic. And the Islanders, despite getting a shutout, the defense has uh, a couple of things to watch on film uh, with uh, Trotz in practice this week. They don't play again until Thursday, so um, some, some time to look that over because there were a few odd man rushes where there were some bad pinches and some lazy, you know, guys getting back. Um, Unfortunately, Dal Cole didn't follow up the best performance of his career thus far uh, with another good one, but uh, he wasn't bad. Um, he took a penalty early on, but it was a really bad call. Uh, Islanders PK, 3-for-3. Three three. Um, power play goes 0-for-1, but it was more of a kill clock mode uh, as we were already up 2 nothing at that point. Um, all right, now we'll get into the wider scope, and I'll make it quick. Uh, the Isles are back in a playoff spot. Uh, these five teams have been very, very close in quality so far. Um, and, you know, the Flyers and the Bruins, uh, while their records are really good, um, th they've also gone through, you know, short periods of play where uh, they haven't been the most convincing. The Islanders have actually bestowed on the uh, Bruins their only regulation loss. Uh, of course, that was a game much like tonight where the Isles didn't, um, like, own the night, but... Um, I think you would say tonight was actually a little bit better based on uh, more of a well-rounded uh, performance from the four lines. Um, it's, it's wide open. Uh, this division's wide open. I think we knew that would happen. Uh, the Devils haven't played in a while, obviously. The Sabres might not play for a while. Um, the Isles will get the Penguins like five more times this month. Uh, so that'll be a great test of two teams kind of in the middle right now. And uh, the Rangers, despite being 4-5-2 and two and uh, being technically in last place right now, uh, if they defend, it's hard to tell with the Islanders. You kind of base a defense or you give a curve because, like, it's a little bit too easy because the Islanders don't score that much. But the Rangers' defense definitely looked uh, cohesive tonight. I don't know why Jack Johnson will ever, uh, you know, what reason he'll have to hit the ice again this year, uh, except maybe Hayek keeps making mistakes like he is. Um, I don't think they miss D'Angelo too much. Um, they have a potent enough offense. So it's just a matter of getting uh, some well, like guys like Zibanejad going uh, and Lafreniere and uh, Kako because, you know, no more Faust. A little bit less depth for the Rangers. And, of course, they're m missing Heedle, which is a big part of it, down the middle. Um, other than that, the Isles, uh, they've held their own against, I mean, the Caps games, we don't talk about <laughs> uh, the Flyers they've hung with, the Bruins they hung with. 
they've hung with everybody uh, in even the Capitals games. You know, we got a loss with 30 seconds left in regulation. And then the other one, the Isles, you know, blew the Caps out for one period and then it got bad. So I think uh, the takeaway is stay the course. Um, you'd love, you know, if Bo comes back for Thursday, that's a nice injection into the lineup. Uh, I think Bailey might have played his way down the lineup recently, um, but I don't have a problem with that. Bailey on the third line maybe works better than Pajot. Since Pajot, um, I don't know, probably the better offensive player based on his 26 goals last year. But that's it. I uh, just wanted to give a little bit of a recap of where we are since most of the teams are around the same spot in games played. And um, yeah, so much hockey left to play and so much to be decided. But the Isles tonight looked good defensively. They got enough offensively. And the fourth line, it's alive. Uh, so we'll see where they get their offense next. It's like every game, it's like, all right, where are we going to get the offense now? And uh, sometimes they don't. So that's it. We will see you next time. We'll see you Wednesday for the pod, uh, which actually usually comes out on Thursday. And then we'll have a game Thursday as well. And Wednesday... We may even have a guest. So keep it locked to Belmont Bunch. And like and subscribe and help us in our world domination towards 166 subscribers. All right, bye.